Good morning all, hope everybody's well. This morning I'm smoking my Northern Briars Quebec. Beautiful pipe, it's a custom made design. Um, I ordered a, a series of these um, with a smooth bowl, silver band and Cumberland stem. Um, that series, I had them all together I think six and then I had one which was a Roxcart Helix. Um, once I went over to filtered pipes, that uh, little sort of seven-day set got decimated. And um, I think this is the only one that's left because this one is the only one which had enough girth on the shank to convert. I sent it back to Ian Walker and he converted it to 9mm. Um, the other ones, I've still got one left actually. Um, a beautiful one, um, a hexagon shape. I did show it in my last sale video, which I still have, and I'm kind of loath to get rid of because it's so beautiful. But I think I did put it in my last sale. Um, but that's the only other one that's left. You know, all the other ones I sold, and I've since then um, I bought a. Uh, um, it was new, unused, for off Facebook, um, a Zulu, a nine mil Zulu, which I have and which I use. So at the moment. I have um, those two in 9mm, and um, so that's this one, the Quebec and the, um, and the Zulu. The Canadian, which was one of my favourite uh, pipes to smoke northwards in, that one I sold and is being used, um, but um, I'd like to get another one in 9mm, um, so at some point in the future I hope to order one um, from Ian. And that was a really, a very uh, sort of favoured shape of mine. The Canadian generally I like. Um, that one in particular, he did with a, a bit of a shorter shank so that it wasn't bowl heavy. I do find with longer shanks that the uh, bowl can get a little bit heavy. And I do clench a fair bit, um, but at the same time I suffer from quite a, a weak jaw joint. So, I mean, if I have to clench too tight, it does get a bit sore. Smoking some uh, McClellan's 40th anniversary. Um, and as you know, that's, that's uh, one of my favoured blends. But I do notice, which is a bit odd, but I do notice a difference from one tin to the next. Um, I think I'm on my third tin now and I think the first tin that I had was the best, the second one was pretty similar and this third one is a little bit uh, less rich and it's not as sweet. Now, I don't know if that just needs a bit of air time and then jarring um, but the last two I didn't jar either. Um, I just left them in the tins, and for the most part, I didn't. I just had them in a drawer. I didn't even have them in an airtight container. Um, this particular one is opened, not jarred, but in a in a Tupperware container, so it's airtight, so it keeps its moisture. Um, but the other ones, I think, I went through them quickly enough that I didn't. Uh, once they were opened, I just left them in a drawer. Perhaps I should do the same with this. I don't know. Um, it's still very enjoyable. It's it's a great blend. It's still a, a very strong favourite of mine. Um, but this particular tin, not as good as the others, um, so far anyway. In terms of um, the pipe sale that I mentioned and the cigar sale, um, I wasn't suggesting actually that I was going to do that in the live video. The live video, is, um, which will hopefully be tonight instead of Saturday night, will be a blending video using uh, um, Pipe Grump's uh, press that he sent me. Incidentally, in terms of a press, um, somebody else, one of my regular followers, um, also uh, offered to make me one. I didn't realise he'd already started. He's doing it in his spare time. He's actually making a steel one. He sent me a picture of it, and it's absolutely awesome. I, I can't believe you know people are prepared to put time into uh, doing stuff for other people, for you know, just for the heck of it. And uh, I, I'm so so grateful, and I'm very excited to to get that one as well especially as it'll allow me to uh, to do more than one at a time, which is very cool. Um, 
it would be quite cool to do two similar blends um, but with slight differences and see the difference to be able to compare back to back uh, so in any event so hopefully tonight I'll be doing that video the live video in terms of the blending the pressing and the sale video um, will be probably be a recorded video so it, you can watch it anytime and there's no pressure to to get on the live vi uh, video because I know time differences is a challenge for everybody um, and when I did the uh, the sale video for Danny Shaw um, that one was very successful um, we sold quite a bit of stuff on that sale um, but um, I think that was more to people's generosity to help Danny out and it, was, it was actually awesome so I think, all in all, the recorded videos are better and fairer all round, so there's no sort of mad rush on the sale video itself. And that way everybody's got an equal opportunity. In terms of what I'm going to blend tonight, um, I'm giving it some thought. And the truth of the matter is, um, to do a blend, to press, I'd much rather actually create a blend myself buy some of the the basic um, constituent tobaccos and put something together myself and see what I can come up with but in terms of pressing what I would like to do is I will probably just make some London fog some fresh London fog and press that and see if it enriches it um, by pressing it if it if it kind of helps the flavors develop even more and become deeper and richer so that's, I think, what I'm going to do. I'm quite excited to do that. So hopefully, if you're able to join, I look forward to seeing you tonight. Um, as I said, around 11 p.m. UK time, give or take, um, and we'll see how we go. Thanks very much, everybody. Enjoy your day. Catch you on the next one.